Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010, Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we are looking at practice test 01C. That's the third practice test for Chapter 1, Introduction to Statistics. This is a five-item multiple choice test uh, that's used to prepare for the graded quiz at the end of the chapter. The first question here is, the only level of measurement that does not place scores or categories into order and is therefore the lowest level of measurement is the blank level of measurement. And the uh, choices are ordinal, nominal, interval, and ratio. The answer to this one is nominal. Nominal means name and it simply indicates different categories. And so this person goes into category one, this person goes into category two. They simply indicate difference without indicating more or less or something. Um, and for that reason, nominal variables are typically considered to be the lowest level of measurement. And then a step up is ordinal because that adds order. And then step up from that is interval because it adds uh, specified distances between uh, things. And the top of the heap is ratio because that adds a true zero point onto it. But for right here, the only one uh, the only one that doesn't place things into order is nominal. Number two, the highest level of measurement, that is the one that contains the most information, is the blank level of measurement. And it's nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio, or, yeah, anyhow. The answer is ratio. Uh, like I was just saying, this it is common to stack these things up. Nominal contains nothing more than category membership. Ordinal puts those categories into order. Interval specifies how far apart they are, and nominal, excuse me, and ratio adds to that the zero point to make ratios. And so it actually contains the most uh, kinds of information, the most information of any of those four different kinds. That's something that you'll need to remember for the practice test because they talk about them being the highest and the lowest uh, forms of measurement. Number three, if a person's sex is coded as male equals zero or female equals one, then that variable is at the blank level of measurement, and you have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Well, the answer to this one is nominal, A, because uh, sex or gender is simply this or that. It's a categorical thing. Um, and so you can assign numbers to it, uh, 0 and 1, because some of the computer programs like to have numbers for these, but that doesn't change the fact that the thing that you're measuring is, you know, the labels are arbitrary, and it could be, uh, anything else. And so it's just male and female. Even though we have numbers on it, it's still nominal. It just indicates different groups with different names. So a similar question, number four, if a person's sex is coded as male equals one or female equals two, and the last one it was zero and one, then that variable is at the blank level of measurement. Now some people, uh, well let me say it's ordinal, nominal, interval, and ratio. The answer to this one is B, nominal. Again, um, the fact that we have changed the coding scheme, a lot of people when they see 0, 1 assume it's ratio, and if they see 1, 2, they assume it's interval. Um, no, because male and female are simply different groups, and it's regardless of how you encode it, it is still a nominal variable. Um, it just indicates different names for different categories, uh, regardless of the numbers that you use to stand in for it. And to hammer that home, here's the third version of it. If a person's sex is recorded as the word male or the word female, then that variable is at the blank level of measurement. Nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio, your choices. And just like the other two, the answer is still D, nominal. It is a category name. Uh, the other ones, we use numbers to indicate the categories. This one, we use the words themselves. But the way that we label it is irrelevant. It is still categories that we're dealing with. And that's one of the big morals to get from this. Anyhow, that is the last of the three practice quizzes for Chapter 1. And hopefully that is enough to get you feeling well prepared for the uh, graded quiz that's on Canvas. And look forward to seeing you for Chapter 2. Thank you.